Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGM007, and today we're looking at the Gamebox plugin. So, this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to have loads of little mini games inside of a GUI. So, the developer has created quite a few, I'm going to list them off for you now. There's Cookie Clicker, Gem Crush, Minesweeper, Battleship, Connect 4, Sudoku, Whack a Mole, and 2048. So, if you want any of these games, you simply download the file and upload it to your plugins folder, restart your server, and then it will appear here. So, I've only downloaded four at the moment, um, and we are going to go through the plugin, play a couple of these games, and then look at the config file. So the way you get in the GUI is if you have the item turned on for your hub, you can just right click this, or you can use the command forward slash gamebox or forward slash GB. So once you're in here, there's a few things. We will have all of our games listed up here that we can click to go into. Down here, we can turn sound on and off. We can go into the shop to spend our tokens, which we'll have here. So if we go into the shop, there are different sections. You can obviously customize this in the config file. Um, and this one is, the one that I've turned on and as you can see they cost different amounts of money and tokens so um, let's go ahead and buy one obsidian which will cost us one token it says bought successfully if we go back to the main menu we only have one token left and there is our block of obsidian now the way you get tokens is by playing these games and obviously doing well at them um, so let's go ahead and play 2048 and obviously there is a top list of people but obviously no one's played it yet um, and there is a competition um, which costs 50 to go into but if you get a score of 250 or a thousand you can get those tokens um, so let's just play a normal game which costs five and in here we have the uh, the game so if you remember how to play it you go up left and right and try and get to 2048 and um, I'm not very good at this game so obviously you put the same color together or the same number together in the real game and uh, that's how you play it so I'll just have a quick go at this, see what we can get done, and there we go. So let's do that, and we have green. So let's go back and play a different game. Uh, let's play maybe Gem Crush. So I'm sure many of you know this. Um, so we can play any of these, how many moves do we have, etc. Uh, so we are going to go with, um, let's go with this one, it's Raining Gems. So here is the game, and as you can see, we have 10 moves left and our score will go up when we, uh, when we obviously get a row of three or more. Uh, so you guys probably know how to play this, it's very straightforward. I won't bore you with um, a full gameplay of this, but you know, that's how it works. Um, and hopefully we might get some tokens if we do well. So let me try and get a few more points. And you know what points mean, points mean prizes. Um, anything else? Oh, we can move this here to get some a row of three. And I think that could be it. So let's go back and let's go back to the main menu. And no, we still have one token. So that is pretty much how it works. Obviously, you can choose any of the games to play that you want. That is everything in game, but we are going to go into the YML files now and see how we can change things in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel in the config.yml. And there's a few things we can change in here. So we can change the language file to another language if we want. Uh, we can add worlds to the block worlds list so it would not work in that world. Then we can change the amount of time an invitation stays valid for if you have a two person game. Scroll down a bit more and you can change how the economy works. So we can look at the shop a bit later on. Uh, but here you can see you can see whether you want the token system or the economy system, which obviously uses money and requires volts and an economy plugin. Scroll down a bit more and we have the sound setting, whether you want sounds to play when you have a successful click or unsuccessful click in the GUI. And then we have the hotbar navigation, which obviously uses these items. So you could pretty easily just replace these with other items, uh, but it's pretty unnecessary. I think it looks good how it is. Then you could set up a MySQL database, uh, but you don't have to. This is obviously optional. And hub mode. So this is disabled by default. Um, I obviously enabled it, and in the world world, players will get given this item when they join. It will be in slot zero, and it will be a chest with this display name and this law. So you could literally change all of this to whatever you want, and change the slots if it um, overrides another plugin. Then we have a few settings here, which allows players to accept invites without the permission, uh, whether they keep armor when they're in the GUI, and when whether the 
GUI closes when they take damage. Moving on, this is the tokenshop.yml and in here we can customize the shop. So it's a pretty long file, uh, but most of it is just um, lots of different blocks for sale. So up at the top, if you want the shop to work, make sure you set it to true and then people can actually buy stuff. Then we have the shop button, so the material, the display name and the law and whether it glows or not. Then we have all the different categories, so in a similar way you have the material, the display name, the law, and the items. So here we have some dirt, there's the display name, and how many tokens it costs and how much money it costs. So obviously this is optional, uh, you can have one or both, uh, which is pretty cool. And then we have some additional law here. So scroll down a bit more and we have requirements, uh, which is a pretty cool feature. So you will require these. Um, in order to purchase this and then we have some other stuff you can have a command uh, get run when someone buys something so this will be tell player thanks for buying and then their player's name again scroll down even more and we have the long list of all the clay that we can buy and it costs one token and zero money to buy all of these different types of clay then we have the food section and in here there isn't too much there is obviously all the information about what you can buy how much money it costs how many tokens it costs and the material data so that is pretty much how it works it's very straightforward if you want to add a new one you can just copy and paste uh, for example copy and paste one of these down here and this could be I don't know go with steak steaks always good and this cost maybe I don't know 10 money and 10 tokens for example and then you could change the color of the clay to uh, green clay so you can have a play around in here uh, change up all the items change the shops or you can disable it completely if you do not want this uh, to be a feature of the plugin um, but that is how it works. You can download the plugin in the description. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest around. But that's it for me for this week. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.